and invite Mr. Lalit Tyagi, General Manager, APL Apollo, for his presentation. Let's put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome him. For thousands of years, we've evolved to build bigger. Now comes the next revolution in construction technology. APL Apollo Steel Building Solutions for better and faster construction. Recently used to build a hospital structure in just 100 days. PWD planned five hospitals last year. Work at the GTB site started in January 2022 with excavation followed by raft, foundation and anchor bolt casting. The 1900 plus bedded GTB hospital was the largest built up area. Of more than 6 lakh square feet, conventional construction technology would have been too time consuming. The pre engineered steel tubes were selected to complete this challenging project in less time. All steel fabrication work took place at fabricator workshops with zero on site welding. Only structure assembly with high strength bolts. to 90% of the structure was built on four section sizes. Drywall and deck slabs were erected and cast on tubular steel structures. Thanks to tubular construction that offered the perfect balance of speed quality, cost and environmental friendliness. APL Apollo Steel Building Solutions give you lower project times, easier execution and structure optimization. Apollo Steel Building Solutions A true revolution for future construction Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen 
So APL Apollo is India's largest tube manufacturing company. So as you know, India is targeting uh, to be a developed country by 2047. So that's why lots of infrastructure is coming up in India, uh, be it uh, rail modernization, airport modernization, further multiple hospitals, educational institute, that all required on a very fast speed. That is only possible uh, with steel construction. So we also proposing steel tubular construction to the construction industry for faster speed, for aesthetically better buildings, for environment friendliness, and for sustainability. So whenever a government agency, be it railway, airport authorities, or NBCC, HSCC, or an structural consultant, or an architect, when they think to construct any building, I think they consider only four parameters. That should be speed, construction to be quality work, construction to be cost effective, and that should be environment friendliness. So all the four parameters can be covered with steel tubular construction. How it can be covered? Because speed obviously can be achieved with the steel construction as a very fast speed. You can cover uh, your project in less than 50% time comparative to RCC buildings. Tube will be factory made product. So everything will be processed in the factory. So that's why the, you will achieve the quality also. You can save the cost also because you are saving 50% time of your construction time. And if you consider time as a money, which is actually money, then you can save uh, cost also on your construction. And because this is completely a steel construction, less RCC required only for the DEX lab or the foundation RCC will be required. So there will be a like uh, very environment friendly also. So how tubular construction take place? We have 11 plants in Pan India for tube manufacturing. We have capacity of uh, like 10,000 metric ton per day of tube manufacturing. So from these 11 plants, we can give any quantity in a very short time to the fabrication yard. And that also in the cut to length material. Like if you required a nine meter beam, we can deliver nine meter cut to length tubes to the fabrication yard. So there will be a less time required to fabricate the building and there will be a less wastage also because we are delivering the cut to length material to the fabrication yard. So what fabricator have to do? They have to just, just have to finish this product. They have to just send blasting, painting and connection. They have to add the connection and to send the fabrication site for erection. So that's how people were using tubes only for the secondary members like facade, joist. So only 10 to 12 percent or 10 to 15 percent of structure people were using tubes. Why people were not using more tubes? Because the known availability of the bigger sizes. Limited size were, required, were available earlier in the industry. We were the first company to introduce 300 by 300 sizes. We were the first company to introduce 500 by 500 sizes. We are the first company to introduce 1000 by 1040 mm thickness size. So now sizes are available. You can get any MOQs. Earlier, uh, larger MOQ were required for the, for the construction. Now we can deliver any MOQ bet between 10 metric ton to any sizes. So everything is available now. Now people can move to tubular construction. Where is the applications of tubular construction? Any building like high rise building, data centers, hotels, hospitals, airports, railway stations, foot over bridge, anywhere you can construct your building with tubular construction. So that's how you can save the time. That is steel tubes versus conventional RCC. So in steel tubes, there is a slab cycle of eight, day, eight to 10 days per slab. Where is in RCC construction, it will require 20 to 24 days per slab. That's how you are saving the times. Apart from this, you are getting 
एडिशनल कार्पेट एरिया इन ट्यूबलर कंस्ट्रक्शन बिकॉज द कोलम साइज इन ट्यूब्स विल बी लेस कंपेरेटिव टू आर सी सी बिल्डिंग सो दैट्स हाउ यू विल सेव एडिशनल वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टू परसेंट एडिशनल कार्पेट एरिया अर्ली कमेंसमेंट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट सो दैट विल इंक्रीज आई आर आर ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट लाइक इफ रेलवे स्टेशन विल बी कंप्लीटेड इन ए शोटर स्पैम ऑफ टाइम देन इट कैन बी डिलीवर टू द पीपल ऑफ द नेशन If hospital can be completed in a 50% lesser time, then that can be delivered to the service of the people. So that's how, like 30 to 50% uh, time savings you can go. Low project cost, 2% additional carpet area, environment friendliness, recyclability also. So in RCC building you cannot get anything, but after 100 year of buildings. whatever the cost you are spending today more than this you can get after 100 year this is the uh, global study that 30% of carbon emission come from the construction industry so if we convert this construction industry from rcc to steel so you can say uh, you can reduce carbon emission by 60% so this is how this is environment friendly this is basically a cost comparison between uh, tubular construction and rcc so tubular or any steel building will be approximately 200 or 250 rupees per square feet extra for skeleton to skeleton but if you consider times as a like savings if you consider 2% additional carpet area then this will be a cheaper option comparison to rcc building so there were earlier like 40 30 to 40 year old uh, steel building concept is in india that is on conventional h beam i beam people you used to build their h beam i beam and then try they, they were constructing the building here you can save like 20% faster completion low lead time for supply as we are delivering 5 meter to 12 meter any size cut to length material to the fabrication yard so there will be less wastage there will be lesser time required for the fabrication so that's how you can make pb better with tubular construction this is a small study with g plus 11 story building 6.3 meter by 6.3 meter grid so there will be approximately 8% tonne saving in tubular construction building will be more optimized so there will be less steel required for the construction so you can see there will be 8% tonne saving and additional 1% carpet area if you see 8.3 meter by 8.3 meter grid there will be a 13% tonne saving and again 1% additional carpet area in 10.3 meter by 10.3 meter grid there will be a 10% tonne saving so that's how you can save the money with tubular construction as i telling you there will be a additional carpet area how it will be so if you see in tubular construction the column size for g plus 12 story building will be 500 by 500 but if you go with the conventional r h beam and if you jacket it then there will be a column size of 700 by 600 so that's how you are saving additional uh, carpet area and if you go with the same building with rcc 100% rcc that will be column size will go up to 1000 by 1000 so that's how you are saving additional carpet area in your building so when we conceived this concept so four year back and the covid time pwd delhi approach us to build their 6 to 7 hospital in delhi on a very fast speed so they took advice from a prominent uh, uh, architect so with which technology they can go with the faster speed construction so they advised then if we can go with the tubular construction then project can be completed on a very faster speed so these were the six hospital in delhi the gtb hospital salimar bag hospital sultanpuri geeta colony jasola these were the hospital approximately 22 lakh square feet area we supplied 80000 metric ton tube on this on these hospitals and that project were completed if we talks about the skeleton that was completed on 100 days these were the some uh, other hospital uh, hospital project also we are doing uh, nanavati hospital in mumbai that is on again 100% tube 
Imphal Hospital, Shilong Hospital, these are from HSCC government department, these are on, again on 100% tube. Max Saket, there, were, there are two buildings, OPD building and multi-level car parking. These are on 100% tube, work is going on at site. These are some uh, universities project, that is uh, National Sports University Imphal. IIT Rudki itself, they have, uh, they are uh, constructing one building on tubes. Because during this uh, COVID hospital, we went to IIT many times and they were that much impressed with the tubular construction. They have decided to go with the tubular construction for, for their academic block also. Then one uh, block in IP University, Dwarka. Then G plus five story building in uh, uh, MIT University. So these are some list of projects. There are some railway station we are working. These are some stations, Trupati, Bangalore, Aurangabad, Jalna, Sikandrabad, Jodhpur, Kanpur, Motihari, Udaipur, Ghaziabad, Asansol, Gwalior. These are the stations where we are proposing tubular construction to the, uh, to the railway departments and EPC contractor. And many of them have con convinced with the technology. These are the live images of Trupati railway stations. These are some uh, airports projects where we are proposing uh, tubular construction to the airports. Jodhpur airports and Priyagraj airport work is going on on tubular construction. These are some industrial sheds also which are on tubes. Cement industry completed, converted on the tubular construction. Anywhere, if they are coming up with any warehouses, they are going with tubular construction. So the, this is the tu steel tube versus built up section. You can see the 20% tonnage saving in this uh, tubular construction. You must have heard about the oxygen plant during COVID time that was uh, constructed in 15 days by Delhi government. That was only because of the tubular construction. So everything is that much better why people are not uh, using tubes in India. Because India market is very cost sensitive. India is largest producer of cement. So that's why people are uh, using uh, RCC more than steel building. These are some uh, airports uh, where tube is used. So APL Apollo, as I told you, we have uh, 11 plants, we have 50% market share, we have capacity of 2.6 million ton per, per year, per month. So we can deliver any size between 5 meter to 12 meter to the fabrication yard. That's it. Thank you.